Hello, my name is Kate. I am a British English voice. On a beautiful sunny day, on a beach in England, the aliens arrived. When the aliens arrived, I greeted them with smiles, because I am a British English voice and therefore tolerant and compassionate. I study world events and am aware of suffering in foreign countries for which I donate to charities for example Oxfam, Comic Relief, Save the Children. I enjoy traveling to foreign countries and personally know many foreign people. I have holidayed in the Mediterranean with my friend Erica, whose parents are from Germany, though she was born in Harlow in Essex and is therefore British English, like me. The aliens arrived in the summer. It was a hot summer. Many British English voices claimed it was this that encouraged the aliens to come here in the first place. At first, the aliens arrived slowly and in small groups. Then they began to arrive quickly, in large groups which we called, swarms. The aliens were strange and exotic. They brought with them new colors, new tastes, new scents, new rhythms, new voices. There were many new voices not just the ones we were used to hearing while on holiday. They would say things to each other like, she i i i i i i i i i and, gri 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 rock, and, z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z x. You would hear them in the street and at work, in public places. It was hard to understand what the aliens were talking about and what they planned to do next. Some aliens were old or sick, because they were tired from their long journey. These quickly died, but the young were strong. They worked hard and they thrived and soon they began to merge with their British English hosts. Eggs were laid, many eggs were laid, some eggs failed to hatch. Those that did hatch produced new aliens, in vivid new colors, with voices that were a mixture of British English and something new and beautiful. While the tolerant and compassionate celebrated this new breed of alien, others were not so sure. These, were the British English mutants. They viewed the new arrivals with suspicion. Some blamed the aliens and their young for creating the mutants. Others claimed that the mutants were simply a result of natural selection and would have happened anyway. I am not a scientist, so I kept an open mind and did not express an opinion. The mutants hated new colors. They hated unfamiliar voices, they began to circulate stories about the aliens, and their bastard offspring, how they would soon outnumber the British English, how they planned to enslave us, to destroy us. Despite the efforts of the more tolerant and compassionate among the British English, the mutants became stronger, they swarmed, their ideas could be heard, buzzing 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 buzzing. They began to drown out the more tolerant and compassionate voices with a dark and violent voice of their own, buzzing buzzing buzzing. Some aliens became afraid, some aliens became angry. This was considered unattractive as it made the aliens more visible, and so encouraged the mutants to make up even more stories, more insults and on occasion, to become physically violent. The mutants said this served the aliens right for complaining and for not being grateful for our tolerance and compassion. Wounds were inflicted. Alien wounds were not as colorful as expected but, surprisingly, were impossible to distinguish from those of the British English. The conflict deepened. It became savage. Soon, we had ascended into chaos, and the mutants began to devour the aliens. Thousands were eaten. Many thousands were eaten. Eggs. Yes, even eggs, were destroyed. The aliens fought back, some tolerant and compassionate British English fought alongside them. I was tempted to join them in the war against the mutants, but it was complicated. I did not want to fight, I was frightened, so I hid myself away, but soon came to regret this. The mutants did not distinguish between aliens and the tolerant and compassionate, and so, in the final days, even the tolerant and compassionate were being eaten. Many brave fighters fought back, sacrificing themselves and their eggs, but it was too little, and far too late. Soon, millions of us, the aliens and their allies, were being destroyed. Those few who remained were driven to the margins, into the fields and the wild places, and eventually to the sea, 
where they found mutants who, for a price, would help them escape to foreign countries, which is how I came to be here, at sea, with a great swarm of others like myself. The summer has gone, the winter is coming, the sea is cold and angry, I swarm with what remains of the aliens and their allies, there are many here like me, the tolerant and compassionate, some with alien partners like my own. My partner's name is Alex, his parents were aliens but he was hatched in Tower Hamlet so, like me, he is British English, Alex and I love each other very much, eggs have been laid, many eggs have been laid. If our course is correct, we will soon arrive at the shores of a new world, we will leave the sea and my eggs will hatch, from these eggs, beautiful new creatures will emerge, in beautiful, vivid new colors, perhaps they will speak like me, or like Alex, perhaps they will speak in entirely new languages, perhaps they will not be able to speak at all, whatever happens and wherever they go, my children will thrive, eggs will be laid, many eggs will be laid, many more colorful voices will thrive and grow and they will always be beautiful, they will be aliens, they will remember us, and they will say things like gra 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 and Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z X, which means we are aliens and we are beautiful. My name is Kate. I am a British English voice.